Letter that dreams about a horse. Your shape has changed, Tirso, in your children's dreams. You are no longer a man crucified before his fear, that somersault, the bloody lagoon in which you dissolved. In this hazy morning, like that one in the past, you would have wished your little ones hadn't seen you, picking up the loaves of humiliation. What a mistake it was, you think if somehow you're able to, to take them for a walk down that street, which they now avoid. Hundreds of times they woke up sprinkled with screams from their nightmares. In this cloudy afternoon, if there are clouds where you are, don't torment yourself. You're now descending into their dreams in the shape of a horse. From a hill covered with green and fresh pasture, you slowly approach your children, making this fleeting moment unforgettable, letting them slide their hands shyly over your splendid hot neck. There's something magical. You sense it, although they haven't yet. You're coming from afar to tell them they're not alone. A knicker, a shudder, your hoofs hitting the ground three times. You've got no other language but the one of dreams. With the wind disheveling your mane, with your jet black eyes, with your stunning long eyelashes, you ask them to forgive you for that morning in which the rain turned red with their father. Don't suffer, my friend. If there's misery in your children's dream, you didn't take them to that date. You didn't drag them into this letter. It was your children who took you by the hand and delivered you to the journey. Fulfill your Colombian history. Come to us jogging, meek and humble. Give us your sorrow and your beauty.